think the best thing about Christian education is sort of in the name, Christian education. I believe that not only you know teaching kids about math and science, and language and the arts, it's all important, but I really believe in teaching kids from a biblical perspective and you know, on helping to instill in them um, biblical Christian values that will help them to um, live their lives uh, to the glory of God. So the mission of East Liverpool Christian School um, is to provide um, an education that is distinctively Christian, founded on Christian principles, um, and based upon the Word of God, so that our students are um, equipped to live a life that's um, obedient to God. Our vision for our students is that they will love the Lord, and that they will grow in Him, um, and that they will uh, be able to live their lives in obedience to Him, serving Him. Uh, starting now as little children and throughout their adulthood. What makes East Liverpool Christian School different and sets us apart is just that, that we are um, founded on the Word of God and on Christian principles. We are a preschool through grade 12 um, school. Every one of our teachers um, are born-again Christians. Every one of them um, has received a call of the Lord to work here, um, and they've been obedient to that call. That's not um, something that comes lightly. That's a major sacrifice that these people make. You know, that they make a fraction of what they would make um, uh, monetarily here. Um, but the reward uh, that they get is, is the blessing of being in His will and doing His work. And so they come year after year and they give their all. Um, they have hearts that are dedicated to the Lord and um, they desire to influence and reach young people for Christ um, so that they will go out into the world um, and be Christians. We know that God has his hand on this school, yet we live in a culture where we must be prepared for the unexpected. In efforts to make our physical buildings safer, ELCS has made several changes over the past few years. These simple measures help ensure the safety of all those on campus. Our current involvement with the school is obviously we have two kids here right now, Levi and Noah, um, but I serve on the school board. My wife and I coach youth basketball and the golf team. Um, we volunteer for various activities. My wife helps with the fundraising, or she actually heads it up right now. Um, we work at the school on work days, different things that need to be done with maintenance. Um, so yeah, I would say we're, we're very involved at the school and plan on being involved for quite some time. I became interested in the Christian education. Basically, my husband and I both graduated from East Liverpool Christian School, so it was basically a given that we were going to send our kids here. It's definitely worth the investment to us because we're not investing just in education. We're investing um, in training our kids for the future and training for their eternity, really. Um, Christian education, they come here, they learn academics, but they also learn about Jesus every day. Um, so for us that, you know, you can't put a price on that. So I think the school has definitely changed some over the years. Um, when I was a student here, and now I teach here some, so I kind of have like both perspectives, which is kind of interesting. It has definitely changed some to just kind of go along with our changing world and our changing times, but its purpose is still the same, to teach kids academically and also to give them the foundation that they need um, on Jesus and the Bible to grow up in our world today. And all the teachers are, you know, some are obviously different than they were back when I went to school here or back when my siblings did. but. If you're a teacher here, you're dedicated to Christian education and to viewing it sort of like a mission to be here and you think it's your calling if you're here. So I think even though it's changed a little bit, that the heart of the school is still the same. I'm Kathy White. I've been at the Christian school um, over 41 years. Um, I had taught for East Liverpool City Schools for four years and then we had decided to start our family and I had quit teaching 
and um, and we were planning on you know me staying home. We had heard though the same year our first son was born, we had heard that a Christian school had been started, and my husband and I started um, thinking about that and um, praying about that. And um, the year that they moved into this building in Glenmore, a lady from our church had been, um, Pat Trotter was the principal and had got the school certified by the state of Ohio. And she had said something to me about teaching at this school. And I, I just said, well, I need to pray about it. And there wasn't an opening right then either. But then the next year, she contacted me and said, we'd like for you to come and teach kindergarten. I said I had never taught kindergarten before. I had taught fourth graders through eighth graders. But she said to me, oh, that's okay. I taught kindergarten and I'll be there with you to support you and to um, kind of mentor you. And so that's what she did and I found my calling. It's just not a teaching position, but it's a ministry. And I know every morning we start off with devotions for the staff. And when I walk in, I always want to say good morning, church, because I know we're the body of Christ. And we're here to serve the children uh, that come to this school. And it's such a huge responsibility put on us. But it's a responsibility that I see uh, everybody around here taking uh, so very seriously. And I look at the churches today and I find that one thing we lack in is the youth. Everybody that I talk to, all my minister friends and I, we, we talk about how can we get more youth into our church and how can we develop that. And I think it's so important that the churches realize that when we have a Christian school in our area that we should partnership with them. That uh, the church can make a difference. The freedom to tell boys and girls about redemption through Jesus about how much God loves them. The, the children, the, the students, are just like any other student. And I find that so interesting because we're all the same. Uh, there's no difference. It doesn't matter if they're in public school or, or Christian school. They're still students and they still need Jesus in their life. And as the teacher, we have that opportunity to share Christ. And that's why we're here. So when we send our children to school every day. We are confident that um, the biblical values that we hold dear are not challenged and dismantled, but they are supported and reinforced. I met my spouse Kathy on a double date with uh, a former board member here at the school. Uh, we started dating on January 1st, 1965. Uh, we have five children, including a set of twins. All are graduates of East Liverpool Christian when School. When we moved back here in 1973, after we had our first child, uh, my mother had volunteered me to do some typing for Jan Meggerly, and that was the incorporation um, offer for the school to the state. So I early on knew what they were doing. We didn't have any kids of school age at that time, but we then started attending a church that was very into Christian education and um, got us really committed to doing it by the time it was time to start the kids in school. Our first son, uh, when he was ready to start kindergarten, by that time we were very interested and decided to uh, send Bob to the Christian school and all the kids followed thereafter. The biggest thing for us was what we started out wanting, which was a good foundation that was the same as what we tried to teach at home and what they were learning at church and uh, a better and bigger understanding of, of God's Word and of a relationship with Him. It was definitely worth the investment to send the kids here and uh, get the kind of education that we wanted them to and strengthen our Christian values. They got a foundation here that we were trying to give them at home at church, and I think it, um, I think it did well for them when they did go into college and were exposed to some other things. Some people think it's a sheltered experience here, and it is in the sense that we wanted to learn about God also here, but it's not totally sheltered, but it gives them a good foundation for what's to come in the rest of life. 
Now, the best thing about Christian education to me and to my wife is that it supports uh, the other facets of our life, our, our family and our church. Uh, the school supports, uh, they're not uh, challenged. Uh, the church and the family teachings aren't challenged by their school system, which sometimes happens. How Christian education has helped me in life, um, man, I can't even list the ways. I, I think that it not only prepared me to be an adult, go out into the workforce, and to uh, do well in school and college, um, preparing me for um, the future and for an ever-changing and ever more difficult society that we live in. I think that not only that, but it gave me a Christian biblical grounding that um, helped me to get past struggles and helped me to uh, to just become more and more the person that God wants me to be. People should support ELCS because I think it's a viable alternative to other forms of education. It's dedicated to teaching children not only academically but spiritually. It's dedicated to grounding children in biblical truth. Having teachers and an administration that's committed to Christian education, um, we just can't beat having that in our community. I know from personal experience put so much time and money and effort and worry and prayer into their jobs here that I don't think you could find a more dedicated group of people um, to work with your kids. I think it's a good addition to the community. It gives an option. Public schools are an option. Homeschooling. We have another son who lives out of town and they homeschool their children. But it is, it is a choice for people who want to complement what they're doing at home and church and, and it's a good thing to have that option at least. We encourage anyone who has an interest in Christian education to stop into the office. We'd be glad to speak with you, give us a phone call. Um, we'd be glad to give you the information that you're looking for so that you can partner with us in this ministry of Christian education.